Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, we're given a cable that has a length of 35 meters and it spans across 30 meters. The weight of the cable is 2 newtons per meter, or the weight per unit length, I should say. Well, if the cable has a length of 35 meters, that means S is 17 and a half meters, and if the span is 30 meters, that means X is 15 meters. So given those three variables, how can we find the sag in the cable and how can we find the maximum tension at the attach points of the cable? Well, if we're given S and X, we can go ahead and use this equation right here to find C. So we'll take that equation, so we can write this as S divided by C is equal to the hyperbolic sine of X over C, which means we're going to try some values for C, and then we're going to calculate S over C, and we're going to calculate the hyperbolic sine of X over C. So, where do we start? Well, let's try c equals 5 and see what happens. So when c is equal to 5, since s is 17 and a half, and let me start with my calculator here. So we have 17.5 divided by 5, of course, 3.5. And the hyperbolic sine of x over c, x is 15 divided by 5, that's 3. Take the hyperbolic sine of that, and we get 10.02. Well, let's see here. This is much bigger than that, so we need a, well, we need a smaller hyperbolic sine of x over c, and we need, so we need to make c bigger. If we make c bigger, this will become smaller. This will also become smaller, but I think this will become smaller more quickly, so let's give it a try. Let's try c equals 10. So 17 and a half divided by 10 is 1.75, and x, which is 15 divided by 10, that's 1.5. Take, take the hyperbolic sine of that, and we get 2.13. Well, that's a lot closer to 1.75 than 10 is to 3.5, so we're going the right direction, but it's still too big. So let's try 15. Well, let's see here. 15, that means... S divided by 15, that's 17.5, we get 1.667. And let's try this. We have X, which is 15 divided by 15. 1.175. Well, notice it's still bigger than this, so we'll keep going, but not by as much. Let's try 16 and see what that does for us. 17.5 is 1.09. 375. And let's try X over. And we get 1.081. Okay, here it was bigger than this, and here it is smaller than that. All right, so went a little bit too far. Hmm, let's see here. Let's try halfway in between. How about 15.5? And here we get 1.081. One two six zero. Okay, here we were smaller than this at sixteen. Here we're still smaller than this at fifteen point five. Right? This is smaller than that. This is smaller than that. Okay, so we need to be. Let's see. Smaller, smaller. Well, let me see here. Here we're bigger. Here we're smaller. That means we need to get come down. How about fifteen point four? Sometimes it's hard to know which way to go, but here we're smaller. We went to 15.5. It's still smaller. We need to keep dropping to 15.4. All right. So we 17. get 1.1355. Okay, here we're smaller. Here looks like we're still smaller, but we're getting really, really close. So maybe my next try should be 15.39. Uh, hopefully they'll get us where we need to go. 17.5 and we get 1.1365. 1371, 1.365, we're getting really close. You know what? I'll call this close enough. We are there. 
Okay, we have C is equal to 15.39, which will now allow us to solve for, let's see here, we have S, we have X, we have C. We still need Y and we still need H, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for H, but we can't find H until we find Y first. So we need to find Y first. So we use this equation right here. We have Y is equal to the square root of S squared plus C squared. That's equal to the square root of S, which is 17.5 squared plus C squared. And notice it really didn't make that much of a difference. 3, 9, 3, 8, close enough. So we have 15.39 squared. Okay, 17.5 squared plus 15.39 squared equals, take the square root, and we have y is equal to 23.3 meters. All right, so now that we have y, and notice y is the sag plus c, we know c, we know y, so therefore h is going to be y minus c. So h is equal y minus c, so this is 23.3 minus C, and C we found 15.39. So the sag H is equal to minus 15.39 equals 7.91 meters. So now we have the sag, and one thing left to do is find the maximum T. The maximum T can be found by taking the weight per unit length, which is given right here, times y. So now we can say that the maximum tension is equal to the weight per unit length times y, which is two times y, and y is 23.3, or we have 46.6 newtons per meter as the maximum tension. All right, and that's how it's done.